This is the Transformers Generations IDW Deluxe Class Chromia. Now the figure is part overall of Wave 6, if I'm not mistaken, of the IDW figures. Yeah, Wave 6 I think. And she comes, and here's the packaging, and the Wave, uh, her Wave mate is RC. Night Beat, I think, is from Wave 5, so, there. She also comes with uh, an ex uh, a comic book with a Hasbro exclusive cover. Pretty neat. This is actually Chapter 11 of the Dark Cybertron arc, Black Planet. I, didn't act I don't know if I saw her, even a cameo. I don't think... I don't think I saw her. I've been trying to scrutinize every panel. I don't think she's in this comic book. But anyway, so we'll leave it at that. Ah, right, here she is. Very nice. Um, I saw pics of this this figure displayed on, uh, on comic conventions, and I was like, hmm, do I even get her? Because I was just really interested in RC, and this one, if it looks very familiar, is a heavily retooled, Robots in this guy's RC. Um, took the mold. The legs are very similar. They changed the wheels. They changed her uh, her butt. They changed the bike parts here and there. Head sculpt is also different. Forearms are different, but the shoulders are relatively the same. They've added some biceps, thighs, almost exactly the same even the knees there have they're been actually uh, it's, it's actually the same mold they've just given her a big heavy retool just to make her a different figure and I don't you know it's fine uh, I actually like it and when you get it up close and personally open it up it's actually very very nice and um, there was a point when I when I had RC and her together I was actually liking her more than RC the uh, Generations RC. We'll get to that when I do a review, but but very nice. Uh, so if you're thinking this is just another repaint, it's not. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful use of the mold and absolutely love it. Now, she only has one gun. She only came with one blaster. The picture shows she's got another blaster right there. The comic book shows she's got another blaster. And I was like, what? Hasbro, where's that other blaster? So, you notice I do have the other blaster, and it looks a heck of a lot like that blaster, except for that gray paint. Sorry. Heck of a lot like that blaster, and except for the paint. I got this from the RC figure, from the IDW RC, uh, Deluxe Class RC figure. Somehow, they've loaded that figure with two swords, a, a huge blaster, and this one. And her, they've only given her one blaster, so... I don't know what the deal with that was, but anyway, she can barely hold this one because it's a, it's a flat peg and her arms are designed to hold round pegs, so you can keep it like that, but it, it, it's going to fall. Fall! Okay, so it's fine, and there's really nowhere, nowhere, well, I suppose you can put in the same slot as you would the other one. Yeah, okay, fine, it'll fit right there. But this one is supposed to fit right there in vehicle mode and quite possibly in all in robot mode so articulation is basically the same as the robots in this guy's rc she's got a ball jointed neck but the ball joint is on the lower part of the neck she's got a ball jointed shoulders ball jointed elbows ball jointed wrist ball jointed hips thigh swivel hinge knees and a little bit of some ankle articulation because of transfer. No, not really. Not really. It's very, very minimal. Paint apps on this figure, uh, good as good as can be. Uh, there's there's going to be white paint apps, and you're going to expect some bleeding here and there. But the figure I got seems to be pretty neat, pretty clean. There's a little bit of a scratch right there, but that's fine. So far, the paint apps on this figure is phenomenal I absolutely love it and I wasn't sure about the color combinations if they were gonna work but it works fine so very very nice the sculpt there's a lot of K 
kibble at the back, but that's fine. Um, I can actually live with it because the main figure is sculpted very, very well. I love the silhouette on this one. Just, just an amazing, amazing use of the mold. So to transform her, just like the Beast Hunters RC. And, oh, rain's pouring. Sorry about that. Um, go ahead very, very gently because it's made of a translucent clear plastic. Very gently just fold it up, fold up the wheel halves on her feet and then just tilt her legs that way. Instructions tell you to transform her in like 10 moves or something like that. Less than 15 moves. Anyway, go ahead and move this up. Fold it like this and make sure, oh, you want to do it this way so that the wheel, the diagonal part of the wheel is facing front like that. Go ahead and fold it up like this. All right. Now the instructions just say, well, move this up and then the instructions just tell you to just fold the legs towards her body. If you do that without knowing how it's done, you just, you're going to end up this way, just like in the beast, in the robots in this guy's RC. What the instructions fail to say is that the hip joint, her hips, actually move forward, a little bit of an automorph feature which fold, tucks the head down like that. Then you can go ahead and fold up the legs in the cocoon position and uh, on the kickstand. And then you can go join the, go ahead and join the, the wheels together. So like that, that's how you do it. So anyway, and then as you can see, the arms they go fold this way. Make sure that the cavity on her forearm is facing up because that's where the these pieces from her tail section, from her rear end, are going to go and close in. And uh, make sure that the arms are curled inward so that you can fold the this rear section flush like that. And that forms the rear part of the bike, the motorcycle. And then the just all that's left is this front part. Go ahead and fold it up like this. And like that. Um, these pieces are going to tab into those. Like that, just like that. And then the windshield canopy is going to tab in right there at the back. And uh, this one, pull it up like this. And there you have Chromia in her Cybertronian motorcycle bike mode. It will stand without the kickstand. But it, you know, just for extra support, you know, the kickstand. And the uh, weapon will fit here or on either side. And if you have the RC uh, weapon, you can put both weapons like that. It'll look neat. So, very, very cool. Here is the RC from the robots in disguise. And I forgot to show you guys one thing. So, I'll put, we'll transform her back into her robot mode. Size comparison uh, with uh, another uh, Chug or Universe figure. The transformer, go ahead and do this. Pull this out and come on. Pull it up like that. Go ahead and pull it. It's a lot easier to transform her back. Oops. And pull her out like this. Transform. Feet, the feet, like that, like that, like that. Okay. Pull this one back. Like this. Okay. And there you go. Wow, two transformations in under ten minutes. <laughs> Got their gun. All right, cool. There you go. Chromia back in her robot mode. Here he is with uh, Universe Iron High. They look well, look great together. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases, Instagram for my toy sightings, 
here in Manila. Check out all my video reviews on this channel. Chefatron, this has been the Transformers Generations IDW Deluxe Class Chromium. Thanks for watching.